Chains and snow tires are a way of life up here in the Sierra where the snowpack is off to a strong and early start. Life in a snow globe. A mountain cottage in historic Phillips Station. You come home and you have hot chili on the oven and, or the stovetop and a hot fire and you're like, the power's on? I'm blessed. It's a life passed down through generations to Jack and Abby Pearson. You can see the snow out your window. Yeah, um, it's just what I know, you know. Each winter, the Phillips Station Snow Survey happens in her backyard. I think it's a DWR tradition too. I think they like to drive up the mountain. The Department of Water Resources says California hit a major milestone Wednesday when the statewide snowpack surpassed the April 1st average, a whopping two and a half months ahead of schedule. We're definitely looking to be in a better situation than we were last year where everything shut off for a good three months. And there'll be that opportunity to continue to make some additions to that snowpack before we get to April 1. Snow is piling up already since the last snow survey here on January 3rd. Four and a half more feet of snow. Since just a week ago. Yeah. You want to go outside, buddy? Come on. Let's roll. Some take to the deep <laughs> snow better than others. We're kind of in a snow globe right now. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no telling where exactly this is heading, but there are even more storms in the forecast ahead. So uh, good news means we'll likely build more snowpack with these storms. We'll have enough to slide our skis on. That's what I think. That and then some. Time will only tell if we'll be skiing into April, May, or even beyond, but as for now, the Sierra snowpack is looking pretty good this year.